Welcome, <laughs> welcome back to the channel, you guys, for yet another mod video. Today, we are going over 10 interactions from the Pancake One and the Mazur. I'm really excited because these interactions are both new and old. And what I mean by old is some of them have actually been converted from previous Sims titles, which is really exciting. Bring on the nostalgia. First up, we are going to feature an interaction that came with The Sims 3 Late Night, which just so happens to be one of my favorite expansions in The Sims franchise today. I was so excited when I got it. One of the key components that you were able to do is dance on top of the counters, which I thought was so risque, especially the way um, that they danced. So even though this isn't exactly the same animation, just being able to have my Sim live la vida loca for a little bit and get down with her bad self shimmying on up it's just really exciting might i add these interactions are completely base game compatible and also don't conflict with anything else currently in the game nor would they conflict with um any custom interactions which i also i think is really amazing so you don't have to worry there there's also a uh, object or a few objects rather one of them you might recognize i can't quite remember where this telescope came from um but i do believe it is from The Sims 3. One thing I never quite understood about The Sims 4 is why are most of the hobby objects literally freaking huge like i don't get it most of us don't use the cupcake machine nor do we ever indulge in the telescope because they're unrealistically large now with this mod list we're able to have our sims engage with the telescope we can do a lot of different things of course we can have our sims observe the sky where they will work on their logic skill but that's not all if your sim has a level four or higher in the mischief skill they can spy on the neighborhood and they can do other things such as stargazing and searching for aliens which only appears at night even though i'm pretty sure these interactions are capable with the larger telescope it doesn't matter i never ever play with them just for the simple fact that nine times out of ten i don't have an entire observatory to dedicate to a large Large telescope so I feel like now my sims will be more likely to stargaze and spy on their neighbors now that we have a smaller version moving on to the next functioning item the skydiver I can't remember where this came from but essentially your sims can now have a little fun in the form of skydiving the other cool thing is that apparently we can change the volume so I'm not sure if it does play music I don't have like my headphones in or anything but I do know for a hundred percent fact um, that when your sims skydive or use the virtual skydiving machine they will indeed gain fitness so as you guys can see she's in there looking like a freaking tumbleweed these animations are crazy good you guys I don't know how they get these to work like this I have literally no idea um, but I think it's really sweet and I could definitely envision you know like my sims maybe getting one of these for like a party or something I wonder if kids are able to use these I have a feeling that they can't but either way I definitely can see myself getting a lot of use out of this so we have one last functioning object and that my friends is the pull-up bar show of hands in the comments down below how many of you guys feel like we need more more workout equipment I personally love working out in fitness in the sims 4 <laughs> forget real life though you won't catch me in a gym but when it comes to my athletic sims I feel like I'm using the same old same um, pieces of equipment yes we can work out on the TVs we can go for a jog we have the sparring machine but in general I feel like when it comes to the base game our options are super duper limited it'd be really cool if they threw in like in a base game update like a pull-up bar or something um, so the animations for this aren't actually bad at all it looks pretty damn realistic we've got him even doing like a one-hand pull-up which is pretty dang hard if you ask me now I have seen so many variations in the past of these uh, chin-up bars and this one by far is definitely uh, the best looking one that I've personally seen. So that's really exciting. No new moodlets or buffs or anything quite like that just yet. Um, but we're going to move in to a interaction that I truly do wish was in The Sims 4. And that is the ability to have your Sims relax on the bed and read at the exact same time. Sawyer has been 
feeling large amounts of excitement from the skydiving machine that she really does need to use the restroom. So I'm gonna have her go and do that. But in the meantime, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna um, pick a book for her to read. We're just gonna choose my personal favorite, which is Reel Her In. And then I'm gonna see if it is possible to have her relax on the bed and enjoy a good book. I don't know why. I don't know why, you guys. It looks so long for us to be able to even relax on our beds, let alone the fact that we're not even able to like you know, we're not even able to read on them. We can watch TV now, which is exciting. But I really do wish we could still read um, while, you know, just kind of chillaxing. What the heck, you guys? It works. I wasn't expecting it to for some reason. But there you go. She is reading her novel while having her heels kicked up. I might be overly excited for such a simple modification. Or maybe it's just the fact that I am really confused as to why we don't have this in the game. I mean, literally, if CC creators can have have our sims read and relax in the bed like why aren't we able to do that like we literally just got the ability to have our sims relax in the bed after a how long <sighs> there's no excuse moving on to the five brand new uh romance interactions now obviously it goes without saying that you're going to need somebody to have a romantic relationship with in order to perform said interactions the cool thing is is all of these are actually going to be right underneath the um romantic panel and also i don't know if you guys just saw but your sims will autonomously perform them so i'm gonna have ruben come over here and underneath the romance pie menu we're gonna have him go and cuddle from behind now i don't know if you guys have seen um some of the other oh my god how cute he actually grabs her and kisses her and cuddles her it's a little short but um as i was saying i don't know if you guys have seen my other videos on custom romantic interactions but i have quite a few in here and i play with them all the time like i have not taken them out um so if you guys are interested in checking out those videos, I'll just link them at the end. So we were able to cuddle from behind. We can also do a intense kiss. So let's do the dip kiss really quick. It sounds like I'm saying it did something else. I don't know what exactly, but oh my God, I love. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Oh, I love that. Okay, so I love the fact that um, in all of this romantic schmoozle doozle, uh, we ended up getting a sentiment towards uh, towards Sawyer saying deeply connected. Also, side note, as you guys can see, this actually does have a um, you know positive relationship boost romantically and friendship wise, which is also really cool. These interactions are you know not for nothing. They actually do have. Um, wait, hold on. <laughs> not the best kiss well that was their first kiss anyways hot and heavy so they do have an impact which is really nice they're not just you know for shits and giggles okay so the next uh interaction that i wanted maybe sawyer no let's 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 do reuben um reuben to perform is the i'm not sure if it's gonna be here but hopefully it is i believe it is called the slow dance so right here there we go i wish you guys i wish there was the slow dance interaction um especially because wait hold on a second what's happening here it would be really sweet to have this option especially um when a sim is dancing to their wedding song or maybe they're at like a prom or some or, or other formal event it would just be nice to have more connective interactions now see we already did the dip kiss but if you wanted to um we could do it right after the slow dance and that would be kind of like a perfect grand finale this this animation is actually pretty damn good i am really impressed and see like now we could do like the hold on the dip kiss interaction every time i say that it sounds like i'm saying dip kiss like that's a word or something see Look how perfect. I literally just made my own montage. I love how hot and bothered the both of them are. I want Sawyer to get in on some of the action. We're gonna actually have her go and perform the intense kiss. It is a beautiful sunset right now, so this is like literally perfect timing. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of that interaction just to see if they'll be able to perform it in time. And ooh la la, I love this. Oh my 
god. Seriously, you guys, this is almost better than Wicked Whims. I mean, well, it's not. But if you didn't want to download that, but you want more, I guess, more romantic interactions without getting a little kinky dinky, this is definitely the mod for you. Um, I also love the fact that, again, as I said earlier, they will do this autonomously as well. So it kind of feels like it's a part of the game. Um, the very last one that we have is the bed makeout. And of course... We have somebody over here ruining our vibe. I hope he leaves because that is so unnecessary. Like, I am not trying to do that with this kid literally in my house. I had to rearrange the furniture for some reason. Sawyer and Ruben weren't able to get in the bed. So now everything should work perfectly. As you guys can see, they both relax and they get a little bit cozy and <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's a little bit of bump and grinding. Oh my god, do you see that? What is he doing with his legs? Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you all enjoyed. In the comments down below, let me know which interaction was your absolute favorite and which interactions would you like seen add to the game, new or old. If you guys are interested in picking up anything that I showcased here today, or maybe you're interested in even more romantic interactions I will go ahead and link everything that you'll need in the description down below with that said don't forget to go ahead comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the Sun it does not shine <laughs> and I will see you all next time bye guys Please don't keep